What's up guys, my name is Joshua Hamilton, and welcome to the stereotypical desk tour where a soft-spoken English person brags about the items they possess and you become hypocritical and express the dislike in the comments. Now to kick this thing off, I am not actually English, so I'm just gonna stop doing that right now, but let's run through some things that I have in my setup and uh, maybe I can give you guys some awesome budget deals to add to yours. So uh, first up, let's talk lighting because that's probably what grabbed your attention to begin with. Uh, I'm running three USB LED lights strips from Etopsu. Uh, they're about 3.5 feet long and uh, they come in multi-colors. You can actually change the colors and you can swap through the uh, patterns and the colors by the click of a button, which is pretty awesome. And they only cost about 10 bucks a piece, which is even more awesome because for accent lighting, you never really know what you're gonna pay for it and sometimes it's astronomical. Next up, starting from left to right, I have a white and aluminum lamp that I got off of Amazon and then I took it to school with a smart bulb from MyPal, uh, which is a smart bulb much like the Philips Hue, but actually has a deeper spectrum of green and an app that's surprisingly just as good. Uh, plus these only run about $20 and I plan to make a video about this thing soon because I definitely think it's worth talking about. Now we're finally getting to the things that actually sit on the desk, uh, starting with my Canon PIXMA MG7520 white printer. Uh, this is easily the best all-in-one ink printer, scanner, copier I could possibly recommend for the price. Uh, it has Bluetooth capabilities for air print as well as a card reader, and I absolutely love this thing. The uh, 3.5 inch screen is very user friendly and intuitive. The DPI is 9600 by 2400 for color, which is pretty damn good for the value. And as examples, this printer printed the two sick Justin Maller prints I have hanging above it. Uh, this thing is priced around 150 bucks, but I picked it up on Black Friday for 72. Uh, and ink is also pretty reasonably priced. Like I said, I recommend this thing 100%. Underneath that, we have the one terabyte white Halo 5 Xbox One. Uh, this one is kind of self-explanatory because I picked the Halo 5 bundle because I love Halo and also it is white. It brightens up the room and looks clean even when dusty and that's pretty much why I went with white for this whole setup. To the right of that, we have my main studio headphones, which are the Bluteo HT Turbine Bluetooth headphones. Uh, I shot a review for these discussing good cheap Bluetooth headphones. Uh, I wouldn't use these things as durable run around headphones because they are just, they're cheaply built, uh, but they have 67 millimeter drivers in them, which means the bass is crazy impressive, uh, especially for the price. Uh, they're comfortable and light, uh, and if you need headphones for around the house or the office, these are perfect and they definitely don't break the bank. Uh, they're sold for around 30 bucks. Behind those, we have the Triton Comma headset for my PS4. Uh, these have 40 millimeter drivers, so not as dense bass as the Bluteos, uh, but they do sound clear. Uh, the mic in them is awesome. And these are also about 30 bucks on Amazon. And I wasn't gonna really talk about these, but uh, both these headphone stands are from a movie. Uh, they are both on Amazon and they're about 15 bucks a piece. Under that we have the PS4 which is the 500 gigabyte Last of Us bundle and I made that match uh, the setup with a awesome skin from iCarbon which you can pick up for about $30. To the right of that, uh, this is the ITC DS5000 from Innovative Technology. Uh, it's a 50 watt sound system with Bluetooth, which is lovely because it can literally be wirelessly connected to anything you see here. Uh, I love the legitimate metal buttons uh, used to adjust volume and overall sound. The sound quality is pretty decent, especially for the price. This unit right here ran about 100 bucks and for the quality of the sound and the retro feel and look, uh, it's pretty worth it. Above that is the Hisense 1080p 60Hz 40 inch TV, uh, which is used as my secondary monitor, kind of just to throw files over there or iTunes or whatever have you uh, if I need it, or works great for the five video game systems I have hooked to it. Uh, Hisense isn't a brand that is top tier by any means, but it gets the job done. And the clarity is surprising for the price, which I got for 199 bucks, I believe. Next to that is the Blue Yeti desk mic, which most of you probably have seen in many YouTube videos. And that's because the audio quality is so versatile. It's a great audio overlay mic or podcast mic, and it's probably what you're hearing me through right now. Cost on one of these is about 100 bucks, but you can't really go wrong with the quality. Next to that are Loki and Thor, my external hard drives uh, I use for raw video or photo holding. Uh, the bamboo drive isn't made anymore, but I really like the way that it looks, so it just has always stayed on my desk. Next to that is the awesome 2TB Western Digital Passport Ultra. 
uh, which for the size and the price and the speed is so awesome on this thing. It's priced at about 85 bucks. Next up is my early 2012 iMac, which yes, I know is dated, uh, but it still does everything I need it to. It was an upgraded model I picked up back in 2013, refurbished from Apple, and it remains my reliable daily driver for a computer. I upgraded the RAM to 16 gigabytes and I have a Sabrent 4 port USB 3 which are about 20 bucks and makes quick connecting short term devices super easy and super awesome. Uh, I also have dual USB external fans just to help keep things cool which could also be why this thing has performed and lasted the way it has. In front of that we have the stock magic mouse and keyboard. Both mouse pads on my desk were made by the company Oloka and I really like how they look. There's not really much else to say other than go check out everything they make because it's awesome. And holding up my cords over there, which I almost forgot about, is the QWERTY cord holder. Uh, I'm sure you've seen those on many a desk tour if you've seen any of these videos, but they're awesome and they help you stay organized. Finally, we have my chair. This is the player gaming chair from AK Racing. This is probably my most flamboyant and splurged purchase of the setup. Uh, it ran me about 300 bucks. But the quality is solid, the comfort is solid, and the look with the, I keep calling it shareware blue, but it's like a light blue. It just happens to be the same logo color I chose for this channel. Uh, but the shareware blue and the black is a good conversation piece. And uh, with the matching ottoman, I can roll it out in front of the TV and it just, it makes a great gaming setup. Inside my diamond plated desk drawers are the additional cords and remotes for shooting videos or what have you. And I try to keep these things as clean as possible. Uh, right now you got me on a good day. Now the desk started as an Ikea mic or Mikey, not really sure how they pronounce it, uh, which I converted into a wall length desk and added diamond plating stack drawers. Uh, but I, I like the industrial feel and I like the working man look, especially since that's what my actual job is, is I'm building maintenance. So like handyman kind of stuff, that, that look kind of speaks to me. I went to Ikea and I got additional boards and I cut boards to fit. And then I cut down the drawers to also make those fit. And then I gave a nice little cubby for the ottoman. And uh, everything, it, it kind of looks like it was all done on purpose, but I'll tell you what, I definitely went one piece at a time and just kind of winged this whole thing and got lucky with the end result, I feel like. Honorable mention goes to my Nintendo collection down below, uh, the 2007 MacBook, which I use mainly as a hard drive for music, movies, and streaming, and the bracketless shelving from Ikea that I have up top, which uh, kind of just sets the whole wall off. If you see something I missed that you want to know more about, just uh, hit me up in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, if you like this style of video, give it a like and I'll run through my other things that I have that might be worth sharing, like maybe what's in my camera bag or how I go about making these videos. Uh, th just anything that you might find interesting, let me know down in the comments and I'll see if I can run through those. Anyways guys, have a great day, deuces.